Hi everyone and welcome back to Hearts Varon for us China. So let's continue where we left off. And now that we have our proper army on the front line, this should go much, much faster. I'm just going to wait for the planning bonus. It's already at 30% or so. Yep, 30%. We'll just wait. It's probably not necessary, but I'll do it anyway. It will go faster. The light cruiser research is almost done. And I will be switching to Light Cruiser 4 as soon as we finish that. We got almost 100 convoys, which is not a whole lot, but it will have to do for now. And what else are we doing? Construction free. And how's the focus? 25 out of 70 days. Alright. I queued up some refineries, because we'll need them in the future. How's that bonus? We can probably use speed 4 for a bit. Actually, it's pretty much already maxed out. Alright then. There. Shouldn't take long to take all of this. Yeah, we are already winning. Won't be a problem. We'll need the port as well. They are still trying to invade us. How cute. It's not going to work. Just need to move a few divisions around. Okay, come on, guys. Make yourselves useful. Off you go. And one more. Probably unnecessary, but we'll move one more anyway. And what about our political power? What else can we get? Not a whole lot, really. Air support. Convoy reading efficiency. Oh, that's not bad. That might be useful in the future. Minus 8% attrition. I might just grab that one. There's nothing else that would be really useful in here. Then again, the air superiority guy is pretty good, though. I don't need him right now. But he might be useful in the future. Also, no one said we have to spend our political power right now. We can always do it later. Okay, hold on. I need to modify the front line a bit. Because now it's overlapping. <laughs> which one is which? Yeah, okay. I'm not sure which one is which at this point. Let's select our troops. Okay, that's army one. Yeah, it says so right there. Just modify it. It tends to do that. Okay, so that's the first one. And the second one is right here. That's army two. Okay, good enough. I'll just make a new battle plan. In a moment. We are almost done with our first phase. Okay, that was quicker than I expected. Let's go take that port, if possible. And there's the light cruiser, alright. What's next? I could continue some naval research. You know what? We're going to need transport ships. Let's maybe get started on that right away. And production. So, we can create a variant. We have quite a lot of naval experience. 225 and one more in engine or one more in guns that will do save and we'll get started right away okay carry on 1.51 per year not bad considering i'm not importing the resources just yet we can probably start doing it we need aluminum well, mostly aluminum and some steel for the cruisers. Let's check the trade. We can import some aluminum from the Soviet Union, maybe. Which won't last forever, but it's good enough. At least temporarily. And a little bit of extra steel. We can buy eight steel from the Soviet Union. Back to production. Should be a little bit better now. 
maybe more oil. Who else can we buy oil from? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, Poland actually gave Germany Danzig. Okay. Interesting. There we go. All right. So that means no war with Poland. At least for now. They will probably declare war later anyway. That's what I expect, at least. Okay, I would only buy six this way, that's not good enough. As for our focus... Let's just continue. Militarism is next. So, oil again. We can buy some from the Soviet Union, I suppose. Or can we? Maybe not too much. House production now. We still need more for the fighters. What's our shortage right now? Yeah, we need what? 32 more oil, 9 more aluminum, 9 more rubber, 25 more steel. I won't be buying all of that because it's just not necessary and I don't want to spend that many civilian factories. But we'll buy some of it at least. Maybe some steel. Who can we buy steel from? We're not getting everything from the United States. Let's buy some more from France. And more from the Soviet Union. That will be enough for now. And let's check how the war is going. Yeah, we need a new battle plan. Let's just pause for a moment. And i make the battle plan in just a second. As for our research... I could get started on assembly line production. It's already June 1940. We could do that. Resource gain efficiency might not be a bad idea either. Yeah, in fact, let's get that. And yeah, we need a new battle plan here because we are already done with the first phase. Let's redo this real quick. So. How many in the north? Only 13, alright. We can assign more than that. Frontline. Like so. That's good enough. And second frontline. We should make a separate frontline down here, I guess. But first, remove it. Okay, and again. Offensive line towards the port. There, good enough. This should be enough divisions, but I can always assign a few more, if necessary. Two more, just in case we'll need them. Now, all of these guys. That's 25 divisions. And front line again. Let's make this one a little bit bigger, shall we? Offensive line. This is still a lot of provinces, though. I don't want to go overboard. Having said that... Yeah, we'll make it longer this time, why not? This should be fine. So that's the first part. And the second... We can start right here and do something like this, because why not? These provinces are much bigger than the ones in the south. So I think we can afford to go like this. That should be okay. Maybe move the arrow a bit. Yep, looks good to me. And I think we have full planning bonuses, almost, now. We'll wait a bit. Some of these guys still have the planning bonuses. We probably don't need the planning bonus at this point, but we'll get some. And I think we're about to finish some recruitment, yes. 95%. 91%. Yep, they will be deployed soon, in July. Sounds good to me. 
let's check production really quick. Yeah, what do we still need to import? Mostly oil. Eight rubber would be helpful. Okay, then. Let's try to get some oil. Who can we import oil from? I could always import some from Venezuela. Let's try that. 14 out of 16. This will have to do for now. Let's check production again. We're having a massive steel shortage. What's going on with that? Oh, there we go. Now it fixed itself. That's better. What's our penalty from the resource shortage? 28%. Let's grab some more aluminum then. I don't care about the cruiser as much right now, but I do care about the fighters. So let's have a look again. We'll just import some aluminum. From the Soviet Union? Yeah, we can get more from the Soviet Union. Fine. Again, it won't last forever. Because we will end up fighting each other, but it's good enough for now. We can get a new deal in the future. This should be much better now. 20% still. So if we buy 8 rubber, that will completely eliminate the penalty. This should be good enough. What? Okay, what's going on with this? Why are we... Why was it showing a steel shortage? That was very strange. Must have been an interface bug. But yeah, no more penalty. Just production efficiency penalty, but I can't do anything about that. I can just wait. Are there any resources here? Are we going to take any resources? And which map mode is that? This one. What's the keyboard shortcut? F7. Yeah. And I don't care about that. There are some resources down here. Not a whole lot, but that's always 20 steel. I don't particularly care about tungsten. Anyway. How's the planning bonus for these guys? Maxed out. And maxed out. Right, we can execute this plan then. Just this one for now. And we'll see how that goes. They should have enough divisions in there, but we can always add one more. I don't think it's necessary, but we'll add one more anyway. I can always send one manually. That might actually be a little bit better if we do this manually. There. Yeah, we are winning. This shouldn't be a problem. And we can execute the other plans. Like so. Off you go. Should be pretty easy to finish this. At least on the continent. I don't know what exactly the follow-up events are, but I know the general idea about what's going to happen. Oh, hold on, we got encircled there. That's not so good. We need to break through. Okay, we need to plug this hole. They are actually trying. Yep, we lost two divisions in there. That's fine. We got reinforcements. Focus is done. I don't really need recruitable population, but we'll get some anyway. Albania joined the Allies. Italy declared war on Albania. All right. Come on, people. Try harder. Well, at least the front line merged. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's send all these other guys to... And the Soviet Union declared war on Poland. Sorry, Poland. Giving Germany Danzig won't save you from war. As you can clearly see. Yeah, this is looking good. Grab these provinces. Just to remove this front line in the west. That's just one single province right there. No, that's two provinces actually. Where are the resources again? Right here. 
Okay, shouldn't take too long to grab them. The assassination of Leon Trotsky. They're actually defending the port. I mean, I expected as much, I suppose. There. That should make it a little bit faster now. Belgium joins the Allies. It will snowball now. I do expect Germany to conquer France, but we'll see how it goes. At least they won't be taking Poland. The Soviets will take Poland. Not sure if that's really better or worse. It probably doesn't really make a big difference in the end. But we will have to beat the Soviet Union. Sooner or later. Probably sooner rather than later. Come on people, kill these encircled divisions, thanks. Yeah, we are just steamrolling Japan for the most part. German interest in Scandinavia. Yep. And they declared war on the Netherlands. Oh yeah, nice, we finished logistics company. And I could just go for logistics company too right away. Or recon company, let's get recon company. Transport ships are almost done. As in the research. So far so good. But that port is proving to be a bit of a problem. Nine divisions. Well, we are kind of winning here and there, but... It looks like this will take longer than I anticipated. Okay, what's next? Good question. We could get some destroyers, but I don't think that's necessary right now. Let's continue artillery research. Only 37 days to get the next item. Right, I think we should send some help. Let's grab some of these guys. And which front line is this? I'm confused now. Why are there two front lines here? Let's move them manually for now. And without strategic redeployment. I'd rather keep my organization. Okay, which army is which right now? Select all units. That's the one. Well, it's kind of both. Very strange. Five divisions, six divisions. We should read all this, but I don't want to lose the planning bonus. And I will if I read all. We'll just attack manually with these two divisions. Yeah, this should be pretty quick now. And yeah, we'll need a new battle plan sometime soon. We are almost done with our previous one. Might have to attack manually here. They aren't too eager to make progress. Come on, that's an empty province. Surely you can take that one. Much better. So, are we taking that port yet? Come on, people. I'd like to get rid of this front line. And Belgium has capitulated. Like I said, it will snowball now. Question is, will Germany take France? I'm pretty sure they will. But hey, who knows? I'm not playing with historical AI focuses. Yeah, France is already losing. <laughs> yeah, this will not take very long. Never mind. And another doctrine. Nice. Overwhelming firepower is next. Carry on. We almost got the port. Come on, people, that's 17 divisions that we are about to kill. And we got a new airbase. I don't think we'll really need it. But let's use it anyway. Up to 600 in here, alright. Wait, no. That's an even bigger airbase, nice. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. We can deploy some more fighters. 150 other types. Okay, good enough. And send them to the other region. Actually, no, still Manchuria, I think. Sure. 
Erd superiority, Erd superiority. Doesn't look like Japan actually has any fighters left in here, but we'll do Erd superiority anyway. Alright, yeah, okay, we are going to need a new battle plan for this. More focus. Next up, paramilitarism. Minus 10% division training time is actually pretty nice. No thanks, I do not want your divisions. The recruitment is almost done, it's 97%. They are just waiting for some equipment right now. Can we take a few more provinces before redoing the battle plan? We can just do it manually right now, Japan is falling apart. I'm sure it won't be very hard. Yeah. They are just completely collapsing now. Come on, people, let's finish this. It can't be very hard, can it? Alright, let's redo the battle plan real quick. Some divisions are still moving, but whatever. I need a separate front line over here. Like so, and the offensive line all the way. Sure, all the way. I might not even wait for the planning bonus, but they can get a little bit. This is 12 divisions. It should be enough. Improved artillery upgrade. The next tag is 1941. Okay, what else can we research? We could work on some more support battalions. Or improved infantry equipment too. Yeah, let's get that. Carry on. And the other part of the battle plan. Or I could just do it manually. I could probably do it manually, but it's better with a planning bonus. And the AI can do it instead. That's faster and more convenient. Just kill these guys. To make the front line a little bit shorter. And the battle plan less awkward. So, execute this one? I think so. Not much point waiting any longer. They don't even have any defenses right here. So, yeah. Alright, let's create a battle plan. Remove this one first. How many divisions is this? Probably too many. 44 divisions. Yeah, more than we need, but it's fine. And the offensive line. Just all the way. Good enough. And we'll execute it right away. And the Netherlands already lost. Off you go. And new focus. What about equipment effort free? Oh, I didn't start paramilitarism, did I? No. Let's actually go for equipment effort free instead. We could use that bonus right about now. 429 political power. I am not spending that just yet. Still some naval invasions. Oh, they actually succeeded with some of them. See, this is why I didn't want to use these weak divisions. They are often just not good enough. Not sure if I can really use them to move here. They did take one naval base, we need to retake that. I might have to bring my actual army here. Because these guys are just way too weak. And my army is a little bit busy at the moment. We might have to strategically redeploy. Let's grab some of them. The only problem is that even strategic redeployment will take a pretty long time because we are very far away. But oh well. Come on, people. I mean, we'll retake this. It's just going to be an annoyance. Japan is too weak. At this point. We're about to take everything in the north. I don't think they have a lot of divisions guarding that part. 
Doesn't seem like it. Come on, kill that guy. He's out of supplies, so it shouldn't be very hard. Yep, low supply and circumvent penalty. He will die. Two divisions. We can't even beat two divisions, as you can see. Again, these Chinese divisions are just really crap. And Germany declared war on Yugoslavia. We can just create a battle plan here. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll create a temporary army. Because why the heck not? It will be faster and slightly more convenient. Offensive line. There. It will be faster that way. Did we finish taking everything yet? We pretty much did. Excavation 1. So, it's almost 1940. Let's start assembly line production. And we'll execute this battle plan as soon as we get into proper positions. This is not what I call proper positions. Not really. Can you guys not spread out a little bit? I guess not. Never mind. Oh yeah, kill these two divisions. Did they just land with more? Looks like they might have. Might be better to split this army, but let's kill the two divisions in the east first. Then we'll retake the naval base. And then we'll go handle the divisions in the south. The fall of Cairo. Yeah, now they managed to take another naval base. See, this would have been really bad if it happened early into the war, when Japan was still very strong. It's not a big deal now, but it would have been. What if we just remove this battle plan, actually? <laughs> that was not a very useful battle plan. Let's just do this manually. It's going to be easier that way. Retake that battle... Uh, retake the naval base. We are done in the north. Just need to take... Three more provinces, literally. Four more provinces. We can do that manually. No problem. Alright then. Come on, it can be very hard to beat a few Japanese divisions. Poland has capitulated. Didn't take very long. Not that I expected it to take very long. Yeah, now it's a satellite. But Germany and the Soviet Union do have a direct border. I kind of hope they will end up fighting each other. Because, yeah, I'll have to go to war with the Soviet Union sooner or later. Most likely sooner rather than later. Alright, retake all of these. And we got just one more division left. Yep, looks like we're done here. That was all of it. Okay, then. Still some naval invasions happening. Wait, what? There's a naval invasion here, and we only got one division. Alright, I think we need some help in there. We'll just send two guys. That should be enough. Off you go. And we're done. We got everything. Yep. 86 convoys. And we got one light cruiser. Having said that, it's a pretty damn good light cruiser. And Germany declared war on the Soviet Union. Nice one. And that means they broke the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. God, God. I needed that to happen. Now they will end up fighting each other for a pretty long time. Hopefully. In before Germany takes Moscow. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't surprise me that much, but I don't think it will happen, at least not quickly. Okay, looks like we did kick out the Japanese for good. Now, we'll have to invade them. 
No, I'm not giving you military access. Equipment effort free is almost done. So here's the problem. I'm not sure if we actually can invade Japan. We'll try, but it's going to be tough. I can get the intel, but actually getting a successful naval invasion will not be easy. There's the focus. Doctrine effort will be next. And now we can use the bonus to get weapons free. That's the plan here. Or I could get infantry anti-tank. One or the other. Probably weapons free, that's going to be more useful first. But anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.